Hello everyone, welcome back to Dragon Quest V. I'm Silent Mist, and since last time, I I did a few things actually. I got the chain sickle and the iron claw. Like I said I would. I used my seeds, sold all my extra stuff that I didn't need. Oh man, except for I kept I kept one wing of wyvern just in case. I probably won't ever use it. I kept the magic water just in case. Uh I don't think you can actually sell the torch and or the gold orb. But the reason I have a second wing of wyvern is because I also went outside and fought some battles. Um I did level up but that's not why I went outside. I actually went outside to get more money. <clears throat> uh, but I did end up leveling up trying to get the money. And when I leveled up, I learned Identify, which... It's kind of stupid, but it's kind of cool at the same time. The stupid part is that it uses 3 MP. But, uh... I don't think I ever told you what the magic water does, so I'll use it on the magic water. And it tells you what it is. It seems to be a tool. It allows you to recover magic points. And it will disappear after you use it once. And if you sold it, it would be 90 gold. So, that's pretty cool. It tells you everything about the item. Uh, but it wastes MP, so if you already know what it does, it, it's kind of useless. Um, but I went to get more money because this guy up here is also a shop. And he is an armor shop. And I obviously want new armor. I want a fur coat for Barango. Half plate armor for me. Uh, oh crap. I don't think I got enough money. <laughs> but two iron helms and probably a. Uh, uh, what's this called? Iron shield. Okay. Uh, I probably just cut all of that shopping out because it took me like four minutes and it was useless and I wasn't really talking anyway so you didn't miss anything but yeah it was it was stupid because I kept messing up and blah 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 you don't even you don't even want to know huh. monster with ca <laughs> a monster with caves okay wow I I must be really out of it today I keep making a lot of those mistakes Uh, I hope so. If something bad's going on, whew, that could be bad. Alright, well, I don't think there's anything over there on this side. Oh, there's the boat. That's how they escaped. They're so clever. But anyways, let's get out of here, or into here. And I actually move on with the game. Let's just skip all these people. They're useless. What kind of guards are you? Just let the prince get kidnapped. Oh. Nope. That's the wrong way. Let's go over here. Talk to this guy. Yes, that's what I said. There's like a fly buzzing around me, and it's really starting to annoy me. I don't know how it got in here, but I'm going to destroy it. How did he have a key? I'm pretty sick of these people having keys. Where are you going? 
I am actually controlling him right now. Oh, he got away without me. Well, it never actually tells you uh, where to go. But if you go outside and wander around, there is actually only one place to go. So, we're gonna go there. And fight some monsters on the way. And I don't know if any of these guys are new, so we'll just destroy them. I think the goblin rats are new. Maybe not. I think we might have fought them last video or something. Oh well. Doesn't really matter. Um, I didn't really mention this ever because well, it doesn't really matter to me either way. But, uh, the hills, the forest, the desert, and the grass, and all that have different encounter rates. So, if you're trying not to fight enemies, or as many enemies, stay in the grass. That's where it's lowest. I think the highest is, like, these little, uh, hills. I'm not positive about that, but it's it's different. I'm sure somebody knows somewhere. Uh, this right here is poison, or like poison floors. Uh, well, we obviously can't read, so I don't even remember what that says. Let, let's let's just do it. Oh look, new new enemies. Don't we love new enemies? Oh, and one thing I meant to talk about, like, forever ago, uh, back in, like, the first, first couple episodes, because I wanted to buy that, that whip for, uh, it just says we can't read it, that's funny, I wanted to buy that whip for Bianca, but I never did, um, that whip, uh, ah, oh, perfect, uh, the whip, you see how there's two brownies in one group and one brownie in another group? The whip would attack, if you attack the two, it would attack both of them. If it if you attack the one, it would attack one of them. So it attacks a full group of enemies, but not all of the enemies on screen. And that is also what the chain sickle does. So... I meant to, I really did mean to tell everyone about that before, but I just, I just forgot, so, uh, my apologies there. And yeah, you had to see that battle, so, too bad for you. Okay, here's a cave. If you came here earlier, there'd be two guards right here, and they would say something like oh let's let's take this kid or something like that and you're supposed to assume that they're the guys that uh kidnapped the prince and they are but they won't let you through there's no way to get through here until you get your father to leave so it's not worth your time again Alright, but where we're supposed to go is right there in the middle. But obviously it's not going to be that easy. Whew. Look at them enemies. They look pretty tough. Not really. Alright, well... Mm, yeah, I'll go a little further, I guess. It's all kinds of stairs and windy paths and I went the like the only way that doesn't lead somewhere and just for that you have to watch this battle <laughs> I know I'm evil Alright, I'm going to go down here and get this chest, and then end the video. 
So, here we are, 180 gold, and I will see you all next time.